this piece of our great God cleaned up the mess. In Matthew chapter 22, Jesus is asked, what's the greatest command? His response is, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. The truth is, we don't love God. Sometimes we love God, we love ourselves more than we love God. We break His first commandment, His greatest commandment. In John 14, 15, He says, If you love me, you will obey what I command. We don't. We don't always obey what He commands. But the good news is that His love is great enough to cover us in the fact that we don't love Him all the time. He loves us so much. He says, I want you to be with me so badly that I will pay the price for you because you don't love me enough to pay it for yourself. I will give you a way out of your sins. In Romans 5, chapter 8, or Romans chapter 8, chapter 5, verses 8 and 9, he says, But God demonstrates his love for us in this. While we are still sinners, Christ died for us. Amen. Since we have now been justified by his blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath through him? Amen. It's not through ourselves. It's not that he just kind of cleans us up on the outside and says, Oh, you're good enough now. It's that we're actually in Christ. We're clothed in Christ. When he looks at us, he no longer sees us. He sees his son who came down and lived the perfect life for us that we weren't willing to live for ourselves and died the death that we deserve. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for, for loving us so deeply, more than we can imagine, for paying the price for us that we were unwilling and unable to pay for ourselves. We thank you for the sacrifice of your son. Jesus, we thank you for the sacrifice of yourself. <coughs> for being willing to put up with the life uh, here on earth with the people that uh, didn't love you, that rejected you, that crucified you. We thank you for dying the death that we deserve and paying for our sins. In your name, Father.
No, we've taken the bread that represents his body. Just think about the cup that represents the blood that he shed willingly on the cross for our sins. To cover us when all that we have to do is reach out and accept the sacrifice that he paid for us. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for that blood that was shed on the cross. That blood that should have been our blood. The death that we deserved. We thank you for uh, that blood that covers us in our sin and makes us new. Allows us to have a life with you when we have willingly walked away from you and you've offered us a way back. We thank you so much for that. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Spirit come, fall upon me now. Let your spirit come, fall upon me now. And let the rain fall down, pour upon my soul. And then 
John 21, verses 15 through 17, Jesus asked Peter three times, Do you love me? Peter says yes, all three times. And each time Jesus says, Feed my sheep. See, because love isn't just a feeling, it's an action. It's something you do, not just something you think. And in order to truly love God, you must keep His commandments. You must strive every day to live your life in a way that reflects your gratitude for Christ's faith. When you try to love your neighbor, you can't just feel it. You can't just say, go, be warm, and well fed. Yeah. You have to act on it. You have to reach out when people are in need and when they're hurt with your time, with your heart, and with your money. It's not just because God needs our money. He's God. He created everything. If He wanted to, He could do it completely without our money. I think this has more to do with us than it does with providing for God's will. But it's a way to help us remember that love takes sacrifice. That love isn't just something that's easy. That it's something that sometimes is not easy. Let us try to have a, a grateful heart and an open heart as we do. Let's pray. Amen. Father, we thank you so much uh, for the blessings you give us each and every day. We thank you for the country that we live in, for the freedoms that we have, for the blessed and rich lives that we live. We ask that you would soften our hearts, help us to remember that it's not about us, it's not about our comfort about providing for ourselves in this life, but that it's about learning to love you better, learning to love each other better, and living our lives in a holy and grateful way. That's that you bless us as we give, bless the money that's given to be used for your glory and spread your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Majesty, worship is majesty. Unto Jesus be all glory, power, and praise. Majesty, kingdom of authority, flow from His throne unto His own, His and the praise.